Hey y'all, SEMA 2017 and I got a 30 Ford. I know y'all are gonna like way cool, crazy, a little bit different. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Joel, thanks so much for giving me some time today, brother. Yeah, much appreciated, my man, thank you. Tell me a little bit about this hot rod. Well, this thing actually started out on the garage floor. Me and my dad, it's a father-son build. Uh, all steel, 30 Model A. It's been altered a bit, it's been widened and stretched. Uh, original 32 rails. Got a custom roof. Kind of does the roof divide in half? It looks like it does. It actually clamshells. It does. You can run it with the backbone. You can run it with no roof, or you can run it with uh, you know the whole whole thing pulled right off as a, as a unit. Oh wow! But, I was being uh, sarcastic. <laughs> sure enough, right? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So uh, again, just trying to stay a little bit with the old and the new. I like the new technology. So it's got a LS2 six-speed automatic, uh, 8.8 independent in the rear. Uh, yeah, I'm having lots of fun with this thing. We're uh, we're stoked to be here. Tell me uh, about the wheels too. That's a big focal point on them. Man, these are new last season. I've had a couple of different sets of wheels, and these were this really took the car to a new level. Uh, guy's name is Robert uh, from Oxnard, California. He builds compression wheels. They're a one-off wheel. Uh, he's got something similar, but the cap itself is. You have to take a quick look at the cap. It's a full 3D CNC cap that covers the lug nuts, which really takes it to a new level. So it makes it look like you can't tell how it's held on. Exactly. Yeah. And I like the size you chose. Like I was telling you, I don't know. I don't, I the stance is cool, but the size, how you put four kind of big tires on it, I think that makes it look really aggressive and cool. Absolutely. Being exposed like this, too, actually, you get to see the actual size of the wheel. A lot of cars have the wheel tucked in, and you can't really tell, but you get to see it looks even bigger with the tire off there i had it kind of mocked up with the tire off and it looks massive yeah so yeah it's cool quick look up underneath it from what you can tell it's so close up under here so tight that uh you really can't tell much but you can tell the suspension is good that's beautiful right on i like that but yeah not much room under here not much clearance but uh that's what it takes to get a good stance right and up under the rear, it looks paneled up under here too, like a like a supercar, you know, which is cool. This, I mean, this thing is, is over the top for sure. And this interior, holy smokes! I will uh, I will say that it does not look spacious, nor does it look comfortable. But what it does look is very cool. Now I give it up, man. That is, you know. You, you had to be 125 pounds to drive a ride in it, but, and it may be deceiving. There may be more room in it than it looks, but I wouldn't count on it. But again, what do you say, right? That is cool. If you could get into it, <laughs> you would make quite the, uh, quite the arrival. Looks like it's got an iPad there in the middle, too. Not that computer screen, but the laying in the console there, built into the console. Some suede. Unfortunately, I forgot to ask a whole lot about the interior. It's SEMA. Give me a break, right? I did the best I could. No, beautiful work. Y'all got a shop up there? We're actually out of uh, uh, Calgary, Alberta. We're just south 20 minutes. Okotoks shop's called Collision Solutions. We do a lot of body work and a lot of the regular stuff, but we also build some high-end uh, hot rods as well. If people want to keep up with you, what's the best way to do that? You know what? Uh, you can catch up with me at collisionsolutions.ca, and we're on Instagram as uh, hashtag the real dirty 30 D-U-R-T-Y 30. And you do Facebook? We don't do a lot of Facebook, but we're looking into that too. I'm not a real social media guy, but we're building into that. This is all new for me on that side. I got you. Well, brother, let me tell you, this is one cool 30. I really enjoyed it. Uh, give me some time today. That coming from you means a lot. I appreciate that very much. No, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. So there you go. From the SEMA Show 2017, the real Dirty 30. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.